Right. Okay, how are we? How are we? It's Monday. Or was Monday. This is a late night edition. <laughs> a late night edition. Um, for Ross's thoughts. Uh, where to begin? So... What's in my mind? So I suppose let's start with the business. Um, I said on Friday that new clients should confirm by the end of the day, and they did. So there we go, new clients in last week, which is good. Good to get a uh, another client on the books, which is always really exciting. Exciting, sorry. And they're based over in the States, in the US, which is great as well. So yeah, overall, really happy. Uh, excited to get started confident I can help the, the agency owner in a couple of places uh, pretty much immediately. So yeah, that will start, first session is gonna be April and we'll get the ball rolling on that pretty much from to this this week really. I, I, I've talked about the onboarding before. It's not that extensive, there's not too much to it. I suppose it's just like anything else. I mean, you need to have some form of onboarding or you need to have some form of day zero, so to speak. Uh, I suppose just to warm up the engine or or get things get things ready uh, so that whenever you do start from session one, I suppose that what I wouldn't want to do is just have to almost be like a recap of the discovery just to get started. Um, so I avoid that and yeah, we just make it very clear what this first session is all about and I've done that already. So that's it. That's great news. And... Yeah, again, I've said, I've said it about two or three times over the last couple of weeks. Pipeline in general is fine, uh, slash good. Uh, well, it's better than it was, say, three months ago, four months ago, five months ago. So that's positive. In other news, and on that front, uh, speaking of the pipeline, uh, I suppose I made, the, I made the decision today, I'll talk about this more separately, but I made the decision today to... I suppose invest in getting some support on, I would say broadly, the growth of the business. So what I mean by this is, uh, I'm gonna be working with someone who's gonna help me specifically with LinkedIn content. Um, I'm happy to, to say that, like I'm not gonna sit here and like, pretend that, you know, that the writing will still be me. He's not, I'm not working with a ghostwriter. So the content will all be me. He's essentially a coach who's gonna help me be better than what I'm currently being at in terms of how I've set up my profile, in terms of how I'm structuring the content and a couple of other things. Um, so yeah, we will get that moving. It's not even 100% confirmed yet, but I mean, I've made the decision I want to do it. So that's an exciting investment. That'll be like the biggest, I suppose, investment in the business uh, that I've made so far. So if you think in terms of, um, you know, I mean, I, I pay myself, uh, I, I don't have rent of an office, um, and my other costs are relatively low. So I think probably my biggest biggest cost outside of all that is, or outside of myself, is the accountant. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a decent chunk in helping me grow the business, and I'm really excited about it. I think it's a no-brainer for me personally. And um, we'll see how it goes over the next three to six months. But I'm, I'm confident it's going to help me really, I suppose, accelerate the growth of the company. Um, and also my own personal brand and, and a few other things. So that's exciting. And wow, well, lots of news, you know, like that's too much for a Monday. Um, <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. I would say, what else? Yeah, just a lot of activity today. It was, it was nice. I think sometimes... I don't know, I, I, I've had a couple of starts to the week where it's been a bit sluggish or I've been like, I had to really push hard to just get things done and get through a Monday or, and um, yeah, today was different. Today was like, there was lots of stuff happening, lots of good, new, good fresh conversations. A couple of people reached back out to me who I hadn't heard from in a while. Just as a bit of a re-energizing re or revitalizing um, day on that front. So. That's all really uh, good news. And yeah, what was the other thing? Oh, the other thing in my mind, it was something that actually came up in a conversation first thing this morning. And I think it's it's been on my mind since. So I just want to kind of talk through it, which is I've spoken a lot about flexibility on this 
or on these these videos and what it means to me but kind of to the point i alluded to there in relation to mondays i i feel like i'm not really i feel like when you're running your own business you, you have a genuine opportunity to to find a way to work that is entirely just optimal for you and I'm afraid to even use the word optimal because that's not quite what it's about. What I mean is, in in theory, you could work Sunday, Saturday, all day, every day, and work like one other day in the week. And that, if that was the best thing for you and your business, perfect. You know, you'd go ahead and do it. Um, I've alluded to, not that long ago, I, I spoke about this idea of a four day weekend and a service business, and I felt like it's quite a challenge. But then the conversation this morning was interesting because it came up along the lines of the person I was speaking to seems to take the attitude that, you know, for him, working essentially all night every now and then is better than trying to work like five days a week, nine to four or something. Um, so it kind of got me thinking about myself and, and what my tendencies are and what I genuinely seem to prefer to do or what I think I'd like to do or what I end up doing every now and then. And, you know, I can think of a few scenarios recently where I'm probably not functioning as well as I could be because I'm kind of pigeonholing myself into working certain hours. And I know that for me personally at the moment, and probably what happens to a lot of people is that your hours are dictated by other things as well. So for example, if you have a family, children, uh, other commitments, maybe outside of your work, um, and maybe even just depending on what your partner does work-wise, your hours might be, you know, I suppose in line with those things. Um, so, you know, I, I, I've kind of structured the business so far and that I work usually from some point in the morning, usually around nine-ish or ten-ish to usually around four or five-ish. And then kind of like this, if there's things I need to do or want to do in the evening, Again, circumstances kind of permit that or give me the chance to even think about doing that. But then I just thought, all right, well, I mean, if I was to change something, what would I change? And part of me kind of feels like it would look something like either a very early start or a very late finish, maybe one or two days in the week, and then less time during maybe one or two of the days during the day. I'm not sure. Part of me thinks that that would be a bit unnecessary, but part of me also thinks about my productivity at certain times of the day recently. And yeah, I, I do, I see, think there's an opportunity for me personally to look at that. And I would probably encourage anyone who's running a business to ask themselves, like, you know, do they feel like they're just working a certain way because they feel like they have to, or certain hours because they feel like they have to? Or is it that, you know, you found a, a framework or a structure that works for you? Like, do you just start at half 11 every morning and do whatever it is you do until then? Or do you start at like 4 a.m. and stop at like 6.30 to do things? I don't know. Uh, I feel like it's something you just don't have to even have the chance to think about whenever you're employed. But when you're self-employed, yeah, like a lot of other things when it comes to that flexibility point, you, you can consider this stuff. So that was uh, something that came up that I thought was quite interesting. And again, it ties into this notion of, uh, I would see that as a benefit <laughs> to running your own business. Equally, you have to be careful because you could find yourself taking advantage of that and, you know, maybe shortcutting yourself in terms of hours or as I'm kind of probably explaining, you might just find yourself working hours you don't really need to, or are probably operating at a very low efficiency, but you're just putting the hours in because you feel like you have to. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's kind of a thought I had. One thing I'm gonna to do to try and help me establish, actually the only thing I feel like I'm going to do to help me establish this, is when I'm doing my time tracking, I'm gonna try and assign a, a, a very basic level of grading in terms of how I felt I operated during that time. So let's say uh, I do something from nine to 11 
I'm going to say, did I feel, uh, I've spoken about, you know, pace, etc. You know, did I feel like I was operating at a good pace? Was I slow? Did I complete the task in the time expected? And I'll probably just have like a green, amber, red um, kind of traffic light system to end, give myself an indication of, of how I felt that two hour block went. And I'm going to do that, you know, throughout the day. I'm going to take a stab at that and say, I don't think I'll be that productive. In the, I don't think I'm that productive in the afternoons. I think I'm very good in the mornings and I think very quickly for me, for some reason, it teals off in the afternoons. Uh, and then I find myself being more productive at this time of night. So anyway, I don't want to answer the question for myself, but if that was a finding, I'd be curious to see what I could mess around with or try out that might, yeah, I mean, I do other things in the afternoon more frequently if it's not with a client um, and maybe do more work in the morning or evening, so to speak. But anywho, that's a, uh, that's a general, a general update to start the week. So yeah, good, good progress business wise, a couple of interesting things happening, new client on the way, which is great. And, uh, yeah, just some interesting thoughts in terms of how I'm operating. So anyway, that's, uh, that's all for today. We'll be back tomorrow. I guess it'll be an earlier one tomorrow and then maybe a few earlier ones. What else? Actually, a couple of things on this week. We'll be away on Thursday and Friday. Friday will probably take a half day, so I might not do a video on Friday. I probably won't actually. So, yeah, probably we'll get a video from Galway when I'm away with clients on Thursday. And then tomorrow on Wednesday, I'll probably have a couple of usual, usual topics to talk about. So, that's it for today. I will get on with a few bits.